It sort of makes me think that I'm not a man yet. Like, I'm not quite there yet. Well, I have a definition of manning up, which is taking responsibility. Be who you want to be remembered as. That's man up. My dad doesn't say that, but he does say, do everything con huevos, with balls. It could mean uh, someone has an erection. Man up, man down. I can see it being used positively for encouragement, like step up, uh, even if you're afraid. I feel it for me overall it has a sort of negative connotation. It can also be used negatively to like disparage someone or encourage them to do something they don't want to do. There's a real twist on it when you think of manning up as the process of transition. I'm taking hormones. I've had surgeries. I've changed my sex on my birth certificate. So for all intents and purposes, I'm male. But it feels like being a man requires doing something, being something more than just male. At what point do you become a man? Is it based on your age? Is it based on the, the role that you take? What is that something? I'm a transsexual man and I wanted to edit a book of stories that I could relate to and other people who I met that are like me could relate to. The elements of each person's story rang very reminiscent of stories that I've heard for decades now. Each author in the book is very different, but they're all men. Or they all hold within themselves this idea that they might one day be a man. My piece in the book is called Men Like Me, and it's about discovering my place as a queer man. One thing I write about in my story is naked yoga class. It was an all men's class, and it was a defining experience of my transition. I was really scared going into it, so it took me a while to work up to it. And when I did, they like made a spot for me in their circle. It made me feel like I could be a part of a community of men, and I didn't necessarily have to feel separate from them. I thought, I'm always going to be different. I'm always going to be an outsider. And at Naked Yoga, I learned that that wasn't true. Honestly, I was kind of surprised my piece was included because I'm the only author that's not a trans man. I identify as non-binary. A lot of trans men have influenced my journey and have been kind of like my mentors. Even though I'm not one of them, I've been made to feel very included in the community. For trans men reading it, you will find other people who might belong in your community but aren't necessarily one of you. And you can both be in the same space even if your identity isn't the same. In Manning Up, my piece is called Sculptor, and I talk about uh, my father as a sculptor and how he began uh, sculpting um, uh, interconnected chains um, out of wood and a ball in a cage. I use that as a metaphor to look at how we as trans people, or as I as a trans person, have sculpted myself internally and externally. I also look at the ways in which um, racism, the violent gaze, the shame that we deal with um, can really erode our own sense of ourselves. Um, we need more conversations about what it means to be a man or what it means to be a trans masculine person in this society. So I'm looking forward to seeing the book. <laughs>